Right now what we're going to make is a black bean sauce and it's a very versatile sauce. You can use it on tortillas, you can use it on rice, you can have it over vegetables or tofu or chicken if you'd like. Uh, but today we're going to use a little whole wheat linguine. We're going to start with half of a red onion and you can do this relatively chunky. Next we're going to throw in a jalapeno. And depending on how brave you are, you can use a, a larger chunk of the jalapeno. Today I'm going to use about half of one. Some people take out the seeds, but I really like spicy food, so I tend to pretty much always leave them in. I'm going to just turn the stove on to a medium heat. I'm going to throw in about a half a tablespoon of olive oil and just put it in. Put it all in, let it cook together. And once the onions start to become a little clear like this, we can add our black beans. And because when black beans are canned, they usually add salt to the water, I like to both drain the mixture and to uh, rinse them out a little bit before I add them into the dip. And you could use a strainer. What I like to do is I like to just add a little bit of water to the partially opened can. Shake it up a little. And then just redrain. Add these right in. And this is also a good point to add a few cloves of crushed garlic. And once everything's a little bit acclimated, you want to mash up the beans. And you can use anything from like a whisk to a wooden spoon or even a fork. I have this, it's a handy dandy uh, potato masher. The object isn't to pulverize every single bean, it's just to get a good almost like refried bean consistency. It's good to have a little chunk in there every now and again. And for the vegetable broth, this is usually available at pretty much any supermarket. Um, I'm using a no sodium added uh, vegan vegetable bouillon. One of these cubes makes two cups of water. We only need a cup for this dish, so I'm just going to cut it in half and add a cup of water and then microwave it for about 30 to 45 seconds. And once the bouillon is done heating up, you want to just take it out and mash it up with a fork. Okay, so once we're at this stage, we've got our beans mashed in with the uh, onions and peppers and garlic. We want to be cooking it over a low heat, and we can add our cup of uh, vegetable bouillon. And because it's still a little bit soupy, I like to add a little bit of cornstarch, thicken, uh, thicken up the stew a bit. All you want to do is you want to take a mug, add a little cold water to it, then you add about, I don't know, about a teaspoon of cornstarch, see how that goes. So once that's all mixed up, just go ahead and add it to your uh, black bean sauce. Give it a good stirring until it starts to thicken. This is definitely enough black bean sauce to accommodate an entire bag of whole wheat linguine. Just make sure it's all immersed. Add a little salt. Initially it was very tough to be a vegan. Just because every time I'd go to a supermarket I would have to read a novella's worth of ingredients to make sure that things were okay for me to eat. As far as diet, like my, if anything, my palate has really expanded since I've become vegan. So we've got our bowl of pasta. I want to just put as much sauce as your heart desires. We want to add a little bit of fresh cilantro. And there's no need to cut them, just toss them on in. This is a very healthy dish. There is very little salt. There's no cholesterol. Um, the whole wheat pasta means you're getting some fiber. Mm. Yeah, that came out well. 